This video concerns the full process of setting up and executing a lens measurement using spectrally controlled interferometry and the backside profile provided by Reveal. We use Reveal version 1.4 and the SCI Spectra 660. The video will take a user through the process of aligning a part, focusing the camera, calculating optical path lengths in order to locate fringes, and taking measurements. First, ensure a properly set up interferometric system. Make sure that the SCI has finished calibrating. The power and status lights will both be solidly on. Open the backside profile from the profile menu, usually located on the left side of the screen. Open the alignment camera and check to make sure that the transmission flat is properly aligned. Introduce the mounted part in front of the transmission flat. A short cavity is preferable. Use the alignment camera to precisely align the part. Focus the camera, bring up the live video, and introduce a flag. Place it close to the part. Zoom in on the live video and use the focusing stage menu to make adjustments until a sharp image is achieved. If necessary, adjust the light intensity to improve image quality. Next, calculate the length of the optical cavities. The SCI can find them automatically, as demonstrated in the PHOM video. Here, it is demonstrated with a ruler. In this example, the cavity from the transmission flat to the front surface of the part is just under 4 centimeters. We calculate the optical path length with the following formula, where L is the length of the cavity, T is the thickness of the part, and N is the refractive index of the part. For the front of the part, the OPL is roughly 4 cm. For the back of the part, the OPL is roughly 4.9 cm. These locations along the optical cavity are where we will find the fringes. Using the SCI Measurement Manager, scroll along the top to find the approximate spot of the front surface of the part, and then click on the bottom part of the Measurement Manager. This spot is seen in the live camera view. Scroll along to ensure that the best quality fringes are located, and right-click on the mouse to set a marker at the exact spot where the fringes are clearest. Move to the location calculated earlier for the back surface of the part and repeat the process to set marker 2. Note, markers are used as a convenience tool to quickly switch between measurement positions and their assignment order is arbitrary. In this video, they are based on the distance from the transmission flat. Next, using the fine controls on the part mount, Null the back surface fringes. Input the refractive index of the part. The system is now ready to take measurements. Note that measurement order does not matter. 
Here, we measure first marker 1 and then marker 2. Open the SCI control menu and move the region of interest box to the center of the part. Ensure that the front phase measurement box is selected and return to marker 1 before hitting measure. Averaged measurements ensure the most accuracy. Click the Through Phase Measurement box and move the selection icon to Marker 2 before hitting Measure again. Once measurement is complete, create a report or move on to Data Analysis. Refer to the Reveal Manual for more information.